Hi and welcome to the Adam Shop YouTube channel. I'm your host Mohamed Azam with another great video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can add annotations to your basically UI, whatever that's called, UI map view control, right? Um, so let me actually run this application and if you want to start from the very beginning I highly recommend that you check out part number 19 in which I discussed uh, the introduction to basically the UI map kit. So let's run this. I'm just going to drag it over here. And you will see that um, it displays a map of the United States and it puts a point which is our current location. Of course this is running in a simulator or emulator. Um, this is not really my current, this is not really the absolute current position, you know. I'm not in San Francisco, by the way. I would love to be, but I'm not there. Um, so this is the position, and what we want to do is to initially kind of like zoom into the position. It's right now. It's giving a, uh, a kind of like a bird's eye view, okay, or an eagle view, you want to call it. And what we want to do is to we want to zoom into it, okay. So let's go ahead and go into the uh, did add annotation views, which is this one, and this is fired every time you add an annotation. All right. Um, so we're just going to say MK annotation view, and uh, we're just going to say annotation view, um, and we have different views. So we're just going to get the one on the on the top, basically, which is of at index number zero. Okay, because you can have like different annotation views on the screen. MK annotation, and then uh, we can say this is our basically you know placement, and uh, let's say annotation view, and we are going to get the annotation. And what we're going to do right now is to kind of zoom in our current position. So we don't have to pinch zoom, pinch zoom, and all that stuff. We're going to create an object uh, or basically a structure for the uh, MK coordinate region. Okay, and uh, MK coordinate region uh, with distance. So with distance will allow you to um, uh, let's see over here 250 and 250. So this will allow you to kind of like zoom it at, at a particular position. Okay, self dot map view, and then we can say set the region, which is region. And uh, let's actually run this application again, and now we will see that it will zoom into our uh, current position, which is right over here somewhere. Okay, here we go. So, but but you saw that the zooming in was not really animated, and uh, you have to kind of like give much better experience of zooming in okay so let's actually do that you can easily achieve that but just adding animated and yes and by the way in the background you can actually hear my my daughter uh you know talking so so i cannot really do anything about that i guess but uh so here we go and now you can see the effect that uh uh, it's kind of animated while it was zooming in and now if I click on this it will of course show that this is my current location okay which in reality it is not it's just the emulator uh, <clears throat> and in uh, part number 19 I discussed that you can you can kind of pretend to be in different parts of the world uh, and if just go ahead and watch a learning iOS development part number 19 which is on MapKit and uh, you will have more much better idea so so we got that thing running but now one more thing that we need to do is to add our own custom annotation okay and uh, this might be useful in many different scenarios let's say that you are currently at <clears throat> i don't know in the san francisco area like in a pier 39 somewhere and you want to find out like an application you're building that it wants to find out that what are some good restaurants nearby so what you will do you will drop the pins on the map and surrounding your current location with those pins and each pin will kind of identifying 
uh, the location like uh, a soup place or a pizza place or something like that and then you can track the distance or anything like that all right so that's the main purpose of the annotation we have already created a class for our annotation it's called map view annotation it consists of a title and a coordinate system where it will be displayed um, then all is rest is all that is left to do now is uh, to add that into our um, into our page okay so let's do that now I went to some website uh, let me actually see it's called itouchmap.com and I just got the position which is really close to my current position in the emulator okay so I just touch on the screen and it, it will give it just gave me uh, you know some latitude and lot, uh, longitude which is close by to my position so I'm just gonna set that thing up uh, so I'm just gonna say location and uh, location dot latitude and latitude is 37 uh, point seven eight six zero eight and location dot longitude um, minus one twenty two dot four zero five three nine eight three nine eight okay so this position which which I just implemented over here this is very close to uh, what Apple points out to my current location in San Francisco so that's why I want to uh, give this position so that you will have an idea okay that the that the map view is being or the car custom annotation is being displayed so I'm just gonna say uh, map annotation and uh, map view annotation and we have our method which is called init with title and oops and we can over here it's a custom annotation and we can pass in the coordinate which in this case is location and finally we can add that to self dot map view uh, add annotation map annotation does it have animated it doesn't have that okay so let's run this and it's going to add our custom annotation and by default the custom annotation if you're not configuring it it will come out to be a red pin and and you can see over here that it added this annotation and this is our own custom annotation that we just added and it's very close to the actual location projected location where I am okay so you can do many different things I mean right now uh, the annotation is displayed as a pin you can change its view I mean you can change it to anything you can say this is a building and you can actually display a building instead of a pin which we'll cover in the later tutorial that I'm working on um, let me actually show you some articles now if you um, let me I'm just uh, yeah here we go so this is the high on coding is my website if you are not familiar with that but you can go and read all the articles about uh, map kit framework and all that and I go into real detail and here you go you can actually see that see I mean you can actually uh, change the view or the annotation pop-up not even that you can actually change the whole thing uh, so now it displays a house and not really a pin so that's pretty cool I mean you can display different things each representing you know its own category or something that is pretty much it and I hope you like this video and if you do uh, you can donate by going to PayPal and sending your donations to awesomesharp at gmail.com uh, and that's pretty much it and uh, I hope you like this video and stay tuned for more